morning. It's uh, almost eight o'clock. I'm going to leave work in just a minute. But first I wanted to tell you that I'm going on an unexpected road trip to Gothenburg. Yay! <laughs> So I'm going to visit Angel and just for the weekend. My colleague is going to the spa with her friends outside of Gothenburg, I guess. And so I asked if I could hitch a ride and I could. We're going to leave around 12.40 something today. So first work and then I'm going to run home, uh, pack the lost couple of things and then go back to work and then we're gonna leave. I don't know how long it's gonna take. It's gonna take three and a half hours, three hours. It depends on how many stops we make and for how long we're stopping. We have plans in Gothenburg for Saturday. I'm not gonna tell you the plans. You'll see tomorrow, um, but it's going to be nice. Okay, I'm gonna finish my coffee and then I'm gonna go to work. <laughs> See you later. Bye. just gonna order some food and watch something so stay tuned and good night see you tomorrow bye, bye. tomorrow uh, so today we are going to a museum and what kind of museum is it it is a world culture museum we're going to see a exhibition about kimonos so it's from Victoria and Albert Museum in London and it's going to be in Sweden in Gothenburg until January so if you're in Sweden and you want to see these beautiful pieces then come to the World Culture Museum in Gothenburg and it's uh, located really near uh, Lisebergi, the amusement park and uh, yeah if you come in uh, December there will be uh, Christmas at Elizabeth as well, so I mean, yeah, do you both of them? And you buy tickets on their webpage, and we can link uh, the webpage down below. This video is not sponsored by the museum, but yeah, yeah, <laughs> just to be nice.
nice. Yeah. Okay, so we have to get to the bus. So we have to hurry. We have to hurry. Okay. See ya. Bye. later. Vad 
What are you doing? You are fitter than our sixteen. Okay. <laughs> 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 This is an outer kimono for a woman, Uchikake. It illustrates a section of the 12th century literary work, Tales of Ice. The word kimono means something to wear. It has a rich and long history, and around 1615, almost everyone wore a kimono in the Edo period. Kimono for a woman, Kosode. On this kimono, a detailed landscape has been drawn. The motifs are said to be inspired by a chapter in the famous Genji story from the 11th century. Party on a floating stage. On this painted screen, we can see summer activities during the Edo period. On a floating stage, women and men are dancing in the latest kimono fashion. Spectators in boats are there to enjoy the show. Shihimo on formal occasions. The ensemble consists of hakama, a pleated garment for the lower part, and an open sleeveless jacket with wide shoulders called kataginu. The garments are generally small patterned using stencil technology. Yes, Angel is a drama queen. That's why she likes skulls on her kimonos. I was the drama queen here. <laughs> Apparently, I was wrong. <laughs> Outer kimono for woman, Uchikake. High-ranking courtesans were called the Oira, and they were very famous. They were known for being cultural, witty, and artistic, and also for their sexual skills. As they marched through the entertainment district, the Oira wore the most spectacular of clothing, along with very high geta shoes. The motifs refer to a kabuki play which reveals the close relationship between the theater and the brothel. Ladies in waiting with male entertainers dressed as women. Female attendants in a samurai household 
have summoned a group of men to entertain them for the evening. The two standing figures and the person playing the shamisen, stringed musical instrument, are young male prostitutes. All three have elaborate hairstyles and are wearing kimono in the style of women. Gender fluidity and sexual ambiguity were distinctive features of the Edo period, culture and fashion. Night coat. This is the only night coat of its kind made in Japan, which we know has been preserved in Great Britain. It likely belonged to Sir James Darnbolt, who had probably acquired it in the Netherlands. The coats of arms are an imitation of those used on formal Japanese kimonos and are a unique feature. Nakano Street in the Yoshiwara The Yoshiwara was the licensed pleasure district of Edo. Its greatest spectacle was the procession of high-ranking courtesans, wearing the most extravagant of attire, accompanied by apprentices and attendants. The central figure here is rather unusually a flamboyantly dressed young man. The Yoshiwara captured the public imagination despite the often tragic realities of life and the sex trade. Baby Kimono A child's first visit to a Shinto temple about 30 days after birth was an important rite of passage. Baby boys would be dressed in kimonos with motifs that symbolized achievement and strength. In the 1930s, traditional samurai images were replaced by contemporary military ones. Wrapping the little child in the image of a battleship symbolizes hope for both his and the nation's future.
there's a message on it. There's a lot of messages. In the dusk, the road is hard to see. Wait till moonrise so I can watch you go. Expensive. <laughs> and it matches your pink hair. <laughs> Aww. <laughs> Back home, um, what did you think about the museum? I thought it was very lovely. They had so many beautiful historical kimonos on display. Um, they had some really cool modern versions of kimonos too. Mm -hmm. And uh, yeah, uh, I thought it was lovely. They had like um, uh, a bit of history about each piece and yeah, it was really interesting. Yeah. I really, really like the big one with the sparkling with like diamonds and everything on mm. it i don't think it shows that well in the footage but it was amazing yeah yeah it had writing on it as well it was blue yeah and lots of writing and sparkles sparkles and we love sparkles mm. yeah. yeah i thought it was fun and interesting and really really beautiful uh, as well and uh, yeah, you learn a bit of, of history. Mm. So it was really nice. The kimono that I tried on, I mean, I would really like a kimono, mm. but I think that one was more in, um, it wasn't silk. It was cotton, maybe? Yeah, I think it was in cotton. And that makes the fabric more stiff. Mm -hmm. uh, so I'll, I think I would want a kimono in more silk material. Mm. It was really cute. It was really cute. <laughs> and but it matched your hair. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But not for almost mm. thousand. It's a bit expensive. Yeah. yeah. Maybe I can try it's to make one myself. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, if you can afford it, then great. Yeah, then I can't. <laughs> Don't forget to like and subscribe and hit that notification bell. Yeah, see you in the next video. Bye. Bye. Good day. Good day. Good day. I said good day. <laughs>